East Lansing gave out more than 30 tickets to people last fall not following health orders. Last week, the city council reinstated a $500 fine for breaking those orders after the first one was accidentally allowed to expire. You know what, I think it was just a, a little bit of an oversight. The East Lansing City Council voted to reinstate the fine for not following health orders. Mayor Aaron Stevens said not renewing it sooner after the previous one expired in December was a mistake. Mistakes are made, but you know, once it was uh, brought to our attention, you know, we, we held an emergency council meeting that same week. Steven says the $500 fine was reinstated to continue keeping the community safe. We have to keep these orders in place to make sure that people stay safe. And we have to have tools to make sure that people are actually following the rules. And so this is just one of those tools. East Lansing's Deputy Police Chief Steve Gonzalez says the ordinance allows police to enforce the health orders. It provides the police department a legal mechanism um, to enforce any current county or state level public health orders that may be um, in place. But not everyone followed the ordinance last fall. We issued just over 30 tickets, about 32 tickets. Gonzalez said county health officials have limited the number of people allowed at outdoor gatherings in certain parts of the city. We have seen violations of that specifically back in the fall. But has not seen as many so far this winter. During winter time, um, most of the parties that occur in East Lansing or large gatherings that occur in East Lansing, even during normal circumstances, occur indoors. And so we have not seen that occur, you know, outdoors as much as uh, we did in the fall. With fewer parties come fewer noise complaints. Compared to years past, we've definitely seen a, a decrease in, in noise violations. Making East Lansing much quieter this year. It's definitely been slower. There's been uh, less incidences of those noise violations, um, but they still do occur. Mayor Stevens says reinstating the fine will hopefully convince people to continue following health orders. We're going to hold those folks accountable, but we would rather just not have to hold them accountable at all, right? We would rather the spread not occur and people stay safe. And Gonzalez hopes it keeps pushing towards a safer future. We don't want to make all these steps forward as, as a community and then have to take steps back as well. This fine will be in place until the city council revokes it. Mayor Stevens says that will happen when health officials say it's safe. Reporting in East Lansing, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.